Great. So you're welcome once again. My name is Akin Fish and I hope you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you the steps to take when you want to make a decision about the best catfish feed for you to use for your fish farming venture. Um, as you can see here, we have um, different fish feed bags on the farm today and um, I'm just going to give you three steps that I take to make decisions to know what kind of feed to use in my different fish farms, all right? Um, I think we can basically classify all the feeds in Nigeria into three classes, all right? Um, there's the imported feeds. The one on my extreme left here is actually an imported feeds. I mean, so in imp imported feeds bracket, you have the Copens, Scretin, Alakwa, and the likes. They're all imported, all right? And then there's the made in Nigeria branded feeds. That's the um, Vital feeds, Top feeds, Echo Float, Blue Crown, they are branded but they are made in Nigeria, alright? And then the final ones are the indigenous ones, those ones that don't have a name, that you just go to your feed mill, the local feed mill, and they tell you they make a fish feed, you know, you know them, they are not, they, they, there's no name on the bag, right? But I mean, it's a fish feed. So basically, you can classify all the fish feeds in Nigeria into those three um, classifications. Another way you can classify them is, is basically floating and sinking feeds. Um, the floating feeds are the feeds that when you put inside water, they float. And most people like them because when you feed, when you feed your fish, your fish comes out to eat. So you can actually tell if there's a disease with your fish or if they're not eating enough. Or you can also know when to stop fishing, feeding your fish because, I mean, they're floating, they eat. When they're filled, they stop eating, so you stop. But if you are using a sinking feed, you probably will not know when to stop because the feed sinks and your fish go down to eat. All right. Of course, there's a trick to that. I'll teach you that in my next video. But there's a trick to using sinking feed to feed your fishes. There is a sentiment out there that um, sinking feeds make your fish heavy, make them have more weight. And that's because we just think because it's sinking that the feed is heavy. So the fish that eat it will be heavy. I don't think that that is substantiated with fact and with science. I think that it's just a personal sentiment. But yeah, my three steps for you to make your decision is that number one, you have to know the kind of ponds you are using. So as you can see behind me is an eating pond and here we can use sinking feed because I mean we have enough water coming in and going out to make sure that the feed does not pollute the water as fast. However, if you are using a concrete pond or you are using a mobile pond, you know that might not be a wise decision for you because once the feed sinks, it actually pollutes the water and if the fish don't eat it, I mean you are going to be changing water much more and that, that's, a, that's going to be a challenge, alright? Um, but basically, one thing I really like is that agriculture is a business. You want to make sure that you are making business and economic decisions. You want to know which fish feed will give you the most profit, alright? Um, so yeah, I know um, there's something you should remember. There's the FCR, all right? FCR is feed conversion ratio. And feed conversion ratio is basically what quantity of feed you give the fish that grows in weight to what quantity. So let me give you an example. If I give the feed 5 kg of feed over the lifetime of raising the fish, what kg will the fish have grown to? Do you, do you get what I mean? So that's what's called FCR. And it's probably the lifeblood of any fish farm. I'll do another video for you to understand the FCR, I'll, I'll devote time into it. But basically right now, as I've said, we are trying to make a decision on what kind of fish feed to use. So now we've decided that we want to use um, either floating or sinking feeds. And what I would advise you to do basically is walk into any fish feed store in your area and write down the prices of the feeds. Um, right now, I know today is, um, today is April, we're in April, and um, a 2 mm bag of Copens, a 2 mm bag of Copens is about 15,000 Naira today. Um, a 2 mm bag of... Um, Scretin is about 13,005. A 2mm bag of Blue Crown is about 9,800. Um, and so, you know, they all have different prices. And basically, what every fish feed company, most of the imported ones will tell you, is that the FCR is one to one. All right? One to one is um, one kg of feed gives you one kg of flesh, of fish. I don't know if that is sustainable in the long term. I don't know if that is, um, if that's possible in the farming conditions we have in Nigeria. I mean, they all claim it. And maybe if you do a test, maybe somewhere it works. I'm not really sure that many fish farms can tell you they have the efficient FCR of one to one, all right? Um, I know what's most prevalent is like a one to 1.2. That means I use 1.2 kg of feed to actually get one kg of flesh for my fish. Of course, this is because we don't all run efficient systems. Some feed get lost in the system, etc, etc, etc. But basically, what I want you to do is get a calculator. Yeah, you can get one right now. That means you might need to watch this video again. But get a calculator and um, divide your price of bags of feed. So if, 
I told you that one bag is 15,000 naira. If you divide it by 15 kg, almost all the bags of feeds are 15 kg bags, apart from the sinking one, which are 25 kg. If you divide it by 15, that means one kg is actually 1,000 naira. Do you get that? Um, if you use the 13,500 naira bag, you discover that you, I'm not a calculator, so um, do the calculation. Yeah, so um, one kg of feed is the amount to whatever, whatever, whatever. But basically, you now see that you find out that a feed costs 1,000 naira per kg. The next one probably costs like 800 naira per kg. The next one costs 700, 650, and the likes. Now, if you want to say that your FCR, the feed conversion ratio of your fish, is averagely between 1.2 to 1.4, um, if you want to times that by the price of the kg, that means if I use 1.2 kg of this feed to get 1 kg of flesh, all right? That means for you to raise one kg of that fish will cost you 1.2 times 1,000. I hope you are following me. I hope you are not, hope you are not confused. That's 1,200 naira. Now note, regardless of the type of feed you use to feed your fish, they will all buy the same fish from you at the same price. All right? So if the prevailing price of fish right now is like 800 naira per kg, if I feed my fish and I use 1,200 naira to feed my fish, even if the fish is very fast, if I get one kg in four months, I've still made a loss. I'm not sure that is a very wise decision. So basically, what I want you to do is juxtapose the FCR of your feed with the price of the feed to make a decision on the type of feed to use. So let me give you two, two scenarios and just choose one. If I told you that it would take you four months to raise one fish to one kg, and you spend about one three or one four to raise that fish. Now, we are putting in the cost of juveniles, we are putting in cost of operation, cost of staff, and then the cost of the feed based on the FCR. I hope you understand that. I need to go back and rewind that so that you understand what I said. But that, it takes you four months to get one kg, and you still sell the same fish at 800 naira. You know you made a loss, but it's fast. I don't know what you think about that. Or it takes you six months to actually get that same fish to one kg, but you use a feed that by the time you calculate the FCR of 1.2, for instance, this echo float feed, I'm not a feed marketer, so I'm not marketing any feed, I'm just telling you what is, all right? Um, it's about 6,000 naira per bag. 6,000 naira divided by 15 is about 450 naira. If you use an FCR, let's say the feed is so poor, you use an FCR of 1.4, that's still about 500 and something naira. And you will still sell that same fish at the same 800 naira that the other guy will sell it. However, it will take you longer time because the feed is not as efficient as the imported ones, all right? Um, which one would you prefer out of the two options? The one that takes you longer time, but you actually make a profit, or the other one? And then finally, let me come to the indigenous ones, the bags that, that are your feed mill in your area that tells you, ah, they will do a fish feed for you at 200 naira. True, fish eat anything to survive, all right? They, if you throw a bag inside this fish pond right now, they will eat it and they will survive. However, they don't eat anything to grow in weight in such a way that it will be profitable for a commercial fish farm. Did you get that? Let me say that again. Fish eat anything to survive, but they don't eat anything to grow in such a way that it is profitable for a commercial fish farm. So, it is a risk. Yes, the feed is 200 naira per kg, or the bag is 4,000 naira, and it's 15 kg bag. It's the same 15 kg bag as the other branded, more, made by more popular companies. However, it is a risk. Um, what is the FCR of that feed? You can ascertain. What is the... Is what's the quality assurance? What tells you that the same bag you bought from the same company is the same one you will get six months later? Most of the materials they get, they bring in this um, PKC, GNC, fish meal, ETC. The first one they bring this week, it does not mean that it's the same standard of quality that you'll get next week, all right? So why would you risk the investment of a fish farm, the money you put in, into a gamble, into um, something that you are not assured of? So if you are doing the feed by yourself and you bring in your materials and you test the quality and you can ascertain, then um, it's probably something you should give a shot. But if it's just one random somebody, random feed meal somewhere, I don't think it's very advisable. So yeah, um, I hope I've been able to teach you how to make a decision on your feed, on your fish feed. If there's anything you need, you can, my contact is right down below. You can always reach out to me and I'll be glad to help out. Hope you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. A lot of data and a lot of information is coming right up. Bye.